So a couple months back, I did this. Afterwards, I cleaned the drill out with compressed air, cleaned the battery pack out with compressed air, sprayed everything down with some electronics cleaner, cleaned everything off, and everything seemed to work fine. About a week or so ago, this board finally died and is no longer taking the charge. As you can see right now, the battery is still sitting at 18.9 volts, even when I turn that off. Voltmeter is still showing 18 volts. It is dropping a little bit, but so it's not the normal condition where the battery's too dead to accept the charge. You plug it into here and you just get the flashing green and red lights. So what we're gonna do today is replace the main board of the battery with this controller I got off Amazon and see if it fixes it. While that soldering iron hits up just to show, we're still at 17.85 volts on this M18 battery. I'll go ahead and put it in the charger. It's still getting the defective battery pack. and no lights when I push the button. So to remove the board, we've got two T8 screws, regular T8 screws. The case is held together with four T10 torque screws, but they are security screws. So you need a security torque bit to get those off. Once we get those two screws out, we need to desolder four contact points, one here, one here, one here, and one here. These points are used to check voltage across the pack at different spots in the pack so that the, the controller can know if the battery is shorted out on a certain pack or a certain pack's not performing the way it should while it charges. This one, you can see where you have to desolder these four spots right here. And once we do that, we'll have to spot weld this tab and this tab to there and there. This style of solder removal tool is not the best, but it will get the job done. If you have a recommendation for a better type, I'm all ears. That's out of the way. Go ahead and put this about a little bit. So this needs to drop down right here. right here. Looks like it's a little thermistor. Probably just to make sure that the battery doesn't go over temp. So we need to make sure that gets tucked down in there. All these little tabs gotta go back into their respective spots. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put these screws back in to hold this, just so everything is where it's gonna sit on. I wish the screw would stop falling. Quick little solder job. So now I need to spot weld this pad and this pad. To do that, I have battery spot welder. Well, in a fun little bit of irony, the battery in my battery spot welder has failed. So went ahead and just soldered the two extra tabs and the battery still works. So we're gonna put it back together, test it out. As expected, we've got a fully charged battery once again. So we'll just go ahead and check the indicator lights. If you can see that, 
Moment of truth. And that's how you replace the board on your M18 batteries. Thank you for watching.